Hi guys, if you are under the impression that the Scottish Tories can't be as bad as the English ones, then you'll be sadly disappointed. Victoria Derbyshire, the hero BBC journalist at the moment, who can eat Prime Ministers for breakfast and fit in a Secretary of State for brunch, took on a Scottish Conservative MSP and asked a very simple question. Why should people vote for your party? Megan Gallagher here struggled. Have a listen. I think his vision over the last 12 months, I mean, he's been really busy tackling the, the big issues that we've got in the country, cost of living being one of them. And recently, um, I was delighted to hear about the £140 million investment um, for Scottish towns. Um, I think that will be excellent in par as part of the levelling up agenda. Do you want to hear a vision? Why, does, why do you want five more years in power? What are you going to do with it? Well, I think we are fixing what we need to fix just now in terms fixing of... Fixing the problems. Is that your message to voters? Vote Conservative to fix the problems Conservatives cause? No, I mean, there have been global issues, of course. You know, cost of living crisis just doesn't impact, you know, the United Kingdom. We've obviously the had the, the war in Ukraine. I think the vision is that we're getting on with the job. And Rishi Sunak has been clear on that. You know, we're certainly getting on with the five key priorities that he set out. But I'm actually, you know, really keen to hear what more he's got to say. And we'll find that out tomorrow. <laughs> the vision is continuing with what we're doing already. Th that's the vision. It's not something that's going to encourage people to come out and vote for you. If, you, if your vision is uh, we're getting on with the job. Okay, what is that job? Well, we're going to stop the bolts. Well, have you stopped the bolts? No, we haven't actually stopped the bolts. And I, that actually begs the question, is that a popular policy in Scotland? This is a big problem for the Tories in Scotland. They're trying to sell things that the Scottish people don't want. Scotland is very different to the south of England, for example. So the Tory heartlands are loving this woke stuff. They're loving this culture war. They're loving the anti-immigration rhetoric. They love the racism. They love the bigotry. But this doesn't fly in Scotland, I don't believe. Scotland seems to be a much more open society than Tory heartlands. I'm not talking about England, I'm just talking about Tory heartlands. So the Tories in their element in certain Tory heartlands are sure that this lands, or they hope that it lands. But in Scotland, how do Scottish Tories sell things like stopping the boats to people in Scotland? How did they do it? I think it's very difficult. They're in a very difficult spot because they're, they're chained to a far-right party, they're changed to a UKIP party at the moment, and they can't become independent, in a sense, no pun intended, but they can't become independent because they would be cut off from the main UKIP party. But then they can't provide policies that benefit the Scottish people because a lot of these policies would be, of course, in line with the SNP policies. Like the SNP can say, okay, we want to improve things, well, the best way to improve these things would be to leave the Union, to, f to create an independent Scotland. If, because if we have an independent Scotland, we have, uh, we have the levers of power. We, have, we, can act, we can increase tax, we can control immigration. These are things that we don't have power over at the moment. We don't have control over these things. So if we become independent, then we do. What is the response to that? The Scottish Tories' response is, well, we need to continue with more of the same. You know, a big problem for the Scottish Tories was Brexit. A lot of them understood that Brexit would be bad for Britain and they uh, supported Remain. But then when Boris Johnson and the Brexiteers took over, then they were in a difficult position. They had to support Brexit. And they will defend Brexit at this moment, even though they know it's bad for Britain. So... What do the Scottish Tories have to offer Scotland? I think it's very little. More of the same. Stopping the boats. Cutting NHS waiting lists, although we're not doing that. Um, and obviously the SNP are in, in charge of uh, healthcare in Scotland. So the, the Tories in England have no influence over the, uh, the waiting lists in Scotland. So what do the Tories have to offer in Scotland? I think it's very little. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.